What's up guys, this is Sancho West and let's go ahead and enter Video Game Beast School and break down the underpowered Burst Rifle. Alright guys, remember I'm not the end all be all, but let's go ahead and enter the Sancho West graphics to break down the fundamentals of the Burst Rifle. Here's the first technique I want to teach you guys and it's called the bottom up. Essentially where you use the target and you start at below the belt and you let the natural the kick up or the kick uh, of the burst rifle carry it up to a headshot. So you start below the belt, fire, hit R1, 2, 3, and then fire again. And that will pretty much guarantee someone going down. It's about two to three bursts to knock somebody down. So let's go ahead and see that technique once again. You start below the waist, you hit R1, fire, 2, 3, and fire again. It's essentially at a medium to close distance. That's the, the strength of the burst rifle. Now when you have no upgrades, you want to start below the belt. When you have a level 1 burst rifle, start about the chest. And of course when you have level 2 burst rifle, you can go ahead and aim for the neck to the headshot because it's not going to have that much of a kickback. Of course, sharpshooter is going to go ahead and decrease that kickback as well. Now if they're closer, this is where the burst rifle comes into really into play. You can start at the chest and let that kick up again. It's the same thing as the bottom up from medium. Now from far, I don't recommend this from far. But you could fire at the feet. You want to start at the feet, two, three, fire again. So that's what I want you to master. Now, on to the drag shot. Pretty much the drag shot is going to use the foundation of the hunting rifle, but is a great technique to learn for the burst rifle. Of course, what you want to do is start and go parallel, straight across, cut across the head in a swiping motion. Just swipe. You could go up, left, right, down. And this is a great technique to learn for the burst rifle. And you will see that in the footage where I break that down. Okay guys, first things first, you want to upgrade the weapon ASAP. Upgrade the burst rifle to a level 1 or a level 2 as soon as you can. Of course, you have to buy ammo. Look guys, I know this is changing the way you have to play The uh, Last of Us, but you have to buy ammo because you need the ammo to knock people down with the burst. The great thing about the burst rifle is it has stopping power, meaning it's going to interrupt someone's melee, it's going to interrupt someone's aiming at you, so people with the bow, people with the hunting rifle, things of that sort are going to get stopped right in their tracks because of that burst rifle effect. Just check out this footage. Anyone coming at me with a nail board? Down with the burst rifle. So that's the great thing about it. Here's this guy coming at me. Boom. You're trying to hit me with those left hooks? Not happening. You are down for the count with the burst. And you know what? Use the special executions to get more ammo. Now there's going to be a steep learning curve for this weapon. You're going to have to learn the limitations. And the only way you could do that is if you equip it yourself. And you got to use it. You know, you're going to die a lot. That's the beauty of that. Use stealth. Stealth is awesome, so I recommend silencing the burst rifle and man I have lots of kills and lots of um, Downs and executions with just sneaking up on people using the burst rifle using the mechanics that I've taught in the other stealth videos in the shiv videos I'm able to get multiple kills and it's great for survivor It's great for any kind of mode in terms of interrogation and you need to silence the burst rifle to take full advantage of it. And you can shoot into crowds in the, at a far distance. If I see a big plop of people, man, this is when the burst rifle comes into a full effect. As you see here, I got, there's a huge clump of humanity that I just rain bullets in with the burst rifle. Did I mention to upgrade? You need to upgrade. Upgrade this weapon as fast as you can. I'm dead serious and also buy ammo, okay? Get over the fact you have to buy ammo. Here's what I like to call switch. At a far distance, you're gonna need to use your 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 handgun, and you you don't want to waste bullets when they're too far away. That's why I don't recommend shooting at anybody at a far distance. Now, now, as your skill gets better, you can go ahead and shoot at people at a far distance. Let's break down the bottom up technique. Here's various clips of bottom up. Here's with no uh, with no upgrades whatsoever. You want to get used to reading that pretty much at the belt up, and once you get better with the skill of the burst rifle. You could pretty much control, uh, and we will go over this, the, drag, the dragging of the shot. And I also recommend increasing the sensitivity of your viewing. Here's examples of level 1. As you can see here, this weapon is very powerful. Remember, level 1, aim for the chest or the stomach and let it naturally ride up. You can even get to the point where you can get to control the kick up where it could go up and then go immediately back down. And you could stabilize it using the right joystick. Here's a level 2. Of course, like I said, aim for the head and neck area and it will knock somebody down. It will bring down the armor. And actually with the level 2 perk or the level 2 upgrade, you could essentially just move it around. And here's some clips about the drag shot. I'm going to play the shot and then we'll go in slow motion. Let's see that again. 
It's a very subtle, quick, look at that, swipe. Boom, boom, boom. Remember that rhythm. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. And here's a much more subtler drag shot. It's not as, it's, when you're gonna practice with the hunting rifle, use the burst rifle to get used to the drag shot mechanic. It's a great technique to learn. And it's more forgiving because you have three bullets. But as you saw there, let's see here. Boom, 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 down. Let's see that again, slow motion. I quickly drag it, wham, just to guarantee I get that headshot. I'm not sure if there is a magnetizing effect in the bullets like there are in most uh, third person shooters, but here we go, my favorite drag shot of this boom, 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 boom. And I would quickly do two swipes, boom, 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 boom. It's important to remember the rhythm of the burst rifle so you can control that drag shot because it's the drag shot that's gonna separate you from a regular gamer to a competitive Last of Us gamer. And essentially, it's it's a great way to set the foundation for the hunting rifle, which will, I, I will cover in another video. But drag shots uh, and get ammo as much as possible. And you guys are gonna be great burst rifle. And like I was saying before, maintain the aim. The drag shot will help you learn how to maintain your aim so you don't let it kick up too far. Use the right joystick to bring it down. And this is a, something, a skill that you will learn over time. Big thing, take the shot, okay? Just take the shot. More importantly, get the jump. You wanna be the first person that shoots. Well, let's just go and review about the burst rifle. Here's some various footage of what's going on. I'm taking the shot, I'm using my stealth mechanics, I get in, stopping power, all at once happening in that first clip right there. I know my part in teabags, I'm not a fan of teabagging personally, but I go ahead and get all the special execution so I can get the ammo, because ammo is important. Like I said, get over the fact that you have to buy ammo. It's okay to buy ammo if it gives you the, the ability to knock someone down. As you see there, use the stealth mechanics, get the shiv, and I get to kill my burst rifle. And once you get everything down, the burst rifle is a great weapon, and it's not underpowered, it, it's not a weak weapon, and you could get into all the semantics or all the, the, the ace in terms of the hitbox and whatnot, but that's not important, guys. Just follow these tips and you become a great burst rifle user. Yes, sir. Now, here's my personal loadout that I use for the burst rifle. Of course, like I said earlier in the video, you want to silence the burst rifle because it's not that great of a weapon when it's loud. If someone sees you and gets to jump on you, you're dead. I use covert training too, simply because I can have the extra shiv and they can't mark, they can't see me when they're in listening mode. Revival one and uh, revival one and first aid training is essentially used to get points. I get points to buy bullets. That's my style. I'm not saying I'm the, not the end all be all, but I just highly recommend. You want to get use perks so you can get the most points. So if you're a crafter or if you like to use uh, Hawkeye, things of that sort, that's your style. That's cool. As long as you get points so you can upgrade the burst rifle as soon as possible. A lot of people I've read use the Sharpshooter 3, which I haven't had experience with, but that's a great perk to use simply because it gives you 10 points of health every headshot. And especially when you have a level 2 burst rifle, you're going to be essentially 3 headshot kills or 3 headshot hits will build up your health so to each one on their own long as you have it silenced and long as you understand that you need to upgrade the burst rifle as soon as possible and don't be afraid to buy ammo it's going to get you out of sticky situations and as you see i have no purchasable weapons simply because you know, you need perks to build up points so you can buy ammo and that's my style thank you guys for being awesome subscribers and a big thank you for electric sneakers for, for, for providing kick-ass music for my channel. You're gonna see him more and more on my channel. And of course, if you have fan art or if you wanna to contribute to my channel in any way, please message me. Here's the link down below for Electric Sneakers. Visit his SoundCloud, it's awesome music. And I just wanna say thank you guys for being awesome subscribers. Upcoming, I have a special challenge video that you don't wanna miss out that I know you guys will like. Also, I have a special giveaway. And you don't want to miss out on that as well. So hit the like button, subscribe, tell your friends, and share. And upcoming programming for Sancho West, just want to let you know we're doing Grand Theft Auto V prep week. So I'm going to get you ready to be a video game beast as soon as GTA V Online hits. Oh, yeah! Sancho!